Hello, welcome to uh, the Opsi uh, Wins Test Scripts Installer videos. This video is the third video in a three-part series that shows you how to uh, build a product using the Opsi Wins Scripts and install them on your server and test them on your clients. And this, in this video, we're going to do just that. We're going to test our scripts that we built in the first and second parts on a client, and then we're going to integrate these scripts into our server. So the first thing we want to do now that we've built these scripts to test them is to go back to our server and in our product root directory, enter the command opsi setup, set up, space dash dash set dash writes and give it the current directory. And this will allow network access for our client to uh, this product directory on our server. And we do that now. And we can see, there we go, we have set the right on our server to this client. And let us look at the client. And this client is a Windows 7 machine that I have running on a virtual machine. And this client is already integrated into our Opsi server. And it already has the software installed on it which, with which we can test our Opsi Win scripts. Now that software is located at computer, C drive, programs. Opside.org, go into Opside Client Agent, and then go into Opside Wins, and then down at the bottom, select the Opside Wins 32 program. And if we resize this window a little bit to make it fit in our virtual machine, the first thing we uh, want to do is to select our script. So we click on Select Script over the network, and we select our server, go to our server's offside workbench, and select our product, which should now be visible. Let's see, we go down to notepad.db, go into client data, and select, let's start off with Delsa uh, is set up 32.n, this is the setup program. So we click open, and then let us click start. And you can see here the script is running, and the WinBatch install section has been called. The installer is running, and the script finished. There are zero errors and zero warnings. Now let's look back through the script, and you can see here that one of the first things it did was to set uh, the variables, the product ID, minimum space, and then it calls the uh, uninstallation program, Del sub 32 and if Dell Sub32 finds the uninstalled program, it will now uh, run it. In this case, it was the file was not found because we have not installed Notepad++ on the system, so it did not actually run the uninstalled program. Then next, it goes right to the installing program. You can see here this message in the server, installing Notepad++. And we can see here the call from our server to, to this client with the uh, Notepad++ uh, installer program. And then we check the exit code. Since the exit code is zero, we send a comment to the log file that says, looks good, setup program gives exit code zero. And it's a good idea on this client to actually see if Notepad++ was successfully installed. So if we go into all programs, you can see here, here is Notepad++. And let's just open up Notepad++ really quick. We can see there it is, it's going and running. So let's exit that. And let's also test the uninstall script. Let's select uninstall 32.ins from select script, open, and then click start. And you can see again here, the script finished with zero errors and zero warning. And you can look back to the log file. You can see that some uh, variables were set. You can see that uh, the del sub 32.ins uh, script was called. And then you can see that the notepad plus plus uninstaller was called from del sub 32.ins. And let's go ahead and check and make sure it's uninstalled on all programs. We no longer have uh, the uh, Notepad++ installer. Now, at this point, what we have shown is that the scripts we built are a uh, function in the sense that they install and successfully uninstall Notepad++. Now, what we want to do is integrate, the package these uh, scripts up, and then integrate them into our server. So we do that by, of course, back to our server. 
and from our server's root directory to package the uh, files together, we just call upside dash uh, make product file and enter. And you can see a file is created here that is the uh, package name underscore package version, which is uh, notepad plus plus. This is version 6.1.6, and then dash upside server packet number. This is the first package we made, so there's a dash one there. And so we patch this together, and let us go ahead and load this up to our server. And you do that using the command upside dash package dash manager. And then you enter space dash i for install, and then this file name. Now, if you want more information about the offsite package manager commands, instead of dash i, you can enter in dash h for up. Let's go ahead and enter. So here it's running, it's installing it, and we see a successful install. Now, if we go to the i config editor interface for our server, and we look at the product configuration, you can't actually see Notepad++ here because every time after you enter a new client, you should click the reload button. <clears throat> and we'll do that now. And let us let our product products uh, reload here. And we can see here that Notepad++ has been installed. And if we click on Notepad PP, we can see here our uh, product name and our product description that we entered in the first part of the video. Now to test this, let us select a client. And for this case, I'll select this client. And let's go back over here and let's set the requested action. With a left click on the mouse button to set up. Let's save this configuration. And let's click on a fire on demand event. Now we go back to our client. You can see here the upside software starts to run. It makes a connection between the client and the server. It asks if there's any actions that need to be started. And the answer is yes. It makes a binding with the server. And here we see Notepad++ is being installed. Here is the PNG file we loaded earlier and a message to the client saying installing Notepad++. And we see that Notepad++, it has been installed. You can see it here. Now if we go back to our server interface and we click reload, we can see here the status is installed for Notepad++ on this client. And the report is a success on setup. Now if something had not gone wrong, but not gone, uh, if something had failed, you would see a report here that says failed. And to check the log files, you just come up here and click on this tab that says log files. And you can look through the tab and any error messages are being read. And error messages usually come from things like typos, or maybe in this case there was not enough space on the client to install the software. So at this point we've tested the installation. Let us go ahead and test the uninstallation by selecting requested action. Uninstall, then right click on the window and select save, and then select fire on demand event. And you can see that the call on the client side, Opsize software starts running again, and we will uninstall the Notepad. And while that's running, let's just make a few uh, notes here. Now, if you would like more information, or if you have any questions or suggestions, please contact us for support at info at uib.de. Um, the Opside Event Scripts also support uh, Windows uh, registry patches, uh, link creation, uh, full file copying and deletion, and installation on different uh, Windows operating systems, license keys, and much more. And you can see the full documentation at this link at download.uib.de. Now if we go back to our clients, Looks like it is all programs. It is no longer installed. And if we check on our interface, we click reload. You can see that the report says that for this client, there was a success on the uninstall. 
And but that concludes our uh, video series. Uh, thank you for showing interest in OPSI. Contact us if you have uh, any questions or need support at info at uib.de.